great honor to be with the Emir of Kuwait and a special person, a person I've gotten to know very well. They buy tremendous amounts of our military equipment and they invest in the United States. And that's what we like to hear. We like to hear about jobs, jobs, jobs. And they are spending a lot of money on the new planes, including the Boeing F-18, which you like very much, which I like very much also. And uh, we appreciate all of the investment that you make in the United States and all of the jobs that you create. Thank you. Thank you. I would like to mention about our bilateral relation between Kuwait and the United States. And it is a friendly and strategic relation. We are trying to further strengthen these bilateral relations with the United States. Meanwhile, we will not forget at all that the, the, the United States of America uh, uh, they were uh, uh, the provoked element in liberation of Kuwait, liberating of Kuwait. And surely this is not only the uh, position of uh, the uh, Kuwaiti government, but also the Kuwaiti people and the Arab people in, uh, appreciate the role. And it was really a very uh, happy occasion <coughs> to, I, uh, to have uh, met His Excellency the President. Uh, and we have really uh, went through uh, discuss, uh, discussing all the bilateral aspects of bilateral relations, uh, the military relation and the economic and the investment relation, and all the aspects of our bilateral relation, which uh, 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 includes the, even the cultural relation between Kuwait and the United States. And we really we are determined to improve uh, the relation between our two countries. And also, should we should activate further the strategic alliance between Kuwait and the United States. And really, we are eager in order to uh, support uh, all the efforts concerning the alliance. Uh, which is led uh, by the United States of America in combating terrorism and the extreme opinions in order to allow peace and security and in particular our region to prevail uh, with stability and uh, peace. And as we have also felt uh, the determination of the United States to uh, uh, take care of the problems of regions and solve it, particularly what it is belong between the Arab peace uh, settlement and the situation in Syria, in Yemen, and Iraq, and Iran. And meanwhile, in this, I would like to put on record my high appreciation and thanks for His Excellency the President of the United States of America for uh, the help which he rendered to achieve whatever we are hoping for in our bilateral, uh, bilateral relations. Which should, I should not forget truly at all. In the name of the Kuwaiti people, and uh, the name of the Kuwaiti government, and personally myself, to extend an invitation for His Excellency the President, Trump, my brother Trump, to visit Kuwait. Yes, it's Kuwait a small country, but you, you, you will feel that how much people of Kuwait they admire and like the uh, United States of America, with other countries also, with all other countries. Therefore, <coughs> we will be happy really if you will be able to, I mean, accept this invitation and you will be a dear guest uh, on Kuwait and Kuwait.
So we're doing very well in the fight against ISIS, as General Mattis has just explained. And we're going to be having a news conference in about two weeks to let everybody know how well we're doing. Tremendous progress has been made and will continue to be made. And I just want to thank the Emir and his representatives for being here. Thank you all very much. And again, a lot of investment is being made by Kuwait, a very wealthy nation and of great people. But a tremendous investment is being made by Kuwait into the United States, and the people of the United States appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.